This product here is the Honeywell BW Solo portable gas detector. It's a single gas gas detector that can be supplied with uh, a variety of different sensor options. These ones here are fitted with ammonia gas sensors. Uh, other common uh, sensors for this gas detector would be uh, carbon dioxide, uh, carbon monoxide, oxygen, uh, phosphine, uh, which is a uh, fumigant often used in the grain industry, uh, chlorine gas, uh, hydrogen sulfide. Um, there's a yeah, pile of different uh, sensor options. Now, the manufacturer recommends that the portable gas detector is what we call bump tested daily before use. Now, we're often asked, what is bump testing? So bump testing is simply uh, the process of exposing the gas detector to a known concentration of gas to see how it responds and to check that it's responding uh, to detect the gas and to detect the gas at the appropriate concentration. Then you've proven to yourself that the gas detector is working properly. So let's bump test the gas detector and, and look at how it's done. So in order to do that, um, you need a cylinder of gas. So this is a, an ammonia uh, cylinder that's uh, at 50 parts per million. Now we need uh, a regulator to go on the top of the gas um, cylinder. So I'm just gonna attach that to the top there. So that's ready. I'll get the gas detector out. I'm gonna switch that on now. So that's what the gas detector looks like. These are nice and compact and there's just a single button operation. So I'll power that up now. I'm gonna press and hold that and the gas detector will power up. So that'll run through its little startup cycle. While it's doing that, just gonna get out what we call, this is what we call a calibration cap or a bump test cap that allows us to feed gas into the gas detector. Now that's run through its startup cycle now and you can see a big zero there. <laughs> so currently that's detecting zero parts per million of ammonia gas in this air. That's what I'm expecting. <laughs> so I'm gonna attach that little uh, calibration cap or bump test cap now. So that's attached now. And I'm gonna join that tube onto the top of my regulator. So that cylinder is now hooked up to uh, the gas detector through that calibration or bump test cap. Now I'm gonna release the valve there to let the gas flow through into the gas detector. So what I'm expecting is the gas detector will go into alarm. And if I leave it long enough, it should stabilize at 50 parts per million. Um, so I'm gonna release that now. The gas detector uh, will soon start uh, responding to to that gas. Um, you can see they're starting to rise up now. Uh, once it gets above 25 parts per million in this case, it'll start to go into alarm. And if I leave that a bit longer, I'm expecting that that will stabilize at 50 parts per million. Now, ammonia gas is um, a very sticky gas, a very, um, you know, it's a trickier gas to detect. So this is a bit slower to respond than many of the other gases, which are almost an immediate, um, you know, response at the concentration. Um, you can see that rising up there now. That gas detector is now reading at 49 parts per million. So that's super close to the 50 parts per million on the cylinder. So I'm satisfied that that's um, detecting ammonia gas and it's detecting that gas pretty accurately. If I'd leave it a moment later, it'd probably uh, stabilize at 50 parts per million. Um, I'll turn that off. So that's the process of bump testing a gas detector. It's simply checking that it's working properly by exposing it to a known concentration of gas and checking that it reads correctly. So I would be uh, quite happy to use that gas detector now, uh, having proven to myself that it's working uh, accurately and correctly.